Hey guys, it's Emily. We're back with another installment of Tasting Tampa Bay. Today we're trying out Zuku Song. We hear they got some of the best sushi in town, but I want to find out for myself. Let's go. Hey there, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm, I'm well, Emily. Thank you. I'm nice John. to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So what are we doing today? We're going to make our lobster masterpiece sushi roll. It has a okay. whole lobster tail, some corn fried and right on top of it. Okay, sounds great. Okay. So what is the first step here? So we get some sushi rice. Okay. And we're going to spread it evenly right on the nori sheet. Gotcha. Which is seaweed that's been roasted. Mm -hmm. Would you say this is one of your more like popular items here? It's one of our most popular items here. Excited. Um, it's a lot bigger, it's a lot easier to share. Lobster sells itself. Okay. And uh, it's just really pretty to look at. Gotcha. And you're telling me a whole lobster tail is going to go in this? A whole lobster tail gets some pork fried. Ooh. We're going to toss it in our house made spicy mayo and Ooh. we're going to put it right okay. over the top. I love spicy mayo, so that makes me extra excited. So we got crab mix in there, spicy yep. tuna. Mm -hmm. put, put a spear of asparagus inside and we're going to roll it up. Okay. Fancy. I feel like I've never seen this up close, and it's fine. It's very entertaining to me. It looks a lot easier yeah. from afar, and then when you look at it. And Would you say it took you some time to like get the perfect roll? It definitely took me a little bit. All right. So it's like an art. It definitely is an art. art? Okay. What is it that you like about Zuku? Um, it's fun to work. Uh, it's fun to work in a different uh, area of the restaurant. I've always been front of house server bartending, okay. and then never understood why chefs were the way they are, and mm -hmm. now I do. But uh, it's just uh, really great people to work for. Um, it's fun to do this and create something different every day. I love that. So what all is in the sushi roll? So right, so we put the crab mix in there, spicy tuna, the asparagus, mm -hmm. and then we cut a thin layer of avocado. As nice. you can see, we place it right on top of the roll. That's awesome. And then now we're gonna plate it in a ring. So this will get spicy mayo on each piece. Them in this bowl here, we're gonna toss our lobster in there. It's like the perfect amount. I'm a big spicy mayo fiend, so that makes me really excited. It's, uh, it's definitely our most popular sauce. Yeah. Especially now that no one can really find sriracha since there's I a heard. sriracha shortage. Shortage. So, and then what's that sauce on top? So then we add eel sauce over the top. Eel sauce, we make okay. all of our sauces in house. Nice. It's like a sweet teriyaki sauce almost. Yeah, that sounds delicious. All right, so we're finishing off with the So we're going to finish it up. Oh, so that's we're gonna, so cool. We're gonna put the lobster tail there. Mm -hmm. We're going to add the wow. lobster. The amount of lobster. I mean, that's a beautiful roll. Some masago propeller. <laughs> Scallions. Scallions, OK. Love it. And that's our finished product, a little ginger wasabi and we are ready to enjoy. I'm excited. What do you want someone to experience when they're coming to Zuku Sushi? So it's not just the food. Of course, our chefs uh, take a lot of time to prepare everything from scratch every day and bring oh, in the wow. fresh fish to create everything to make to give you the best um, quality food possible. But the energy and the um, atmosphere in the restaurant as well, the way it's decorated, just to kind of give you a really good, uh, nice time and of course, uh, great service from our servers as well. So the, I feel like the first word that comes to mind is epic. I mean, with the tail sticking up in the back, it's doused in spicy mayo, just the way I like it. Um, it's like piled high with that lobster on top um, and kind of sprinkled with that garnish of the scallions and the sesame seeds. Definitely gets my mouth watering and gets me excited. So for the full experience, I'm going to go with chopsticks. I'm going to open these up now. Would I say I can maneuver them like a pro? No. But I've seen, I saw this in a movie once. You like to get like the little things off. Okay. But I'm going to try my best. All right. Don't make fun of me. So I saw it on the internet somewhere. It is just to prevent like, I don't know, splinters. I just don't want. I don't want to get wood in my hand, I guess, or my mouth if I'm 
I'm like doing the walrus like this. Wait. <laughs> See if I can remember how to use them. Okay, I got it. All right, picking it up now. Woo! Look at that. All right, are we gonna one bite it? I think we have to. All right. So good. You have the the spiciness and the saltiness of the um, spicy mayo. There's really a lot of meat packed in there. And you get that crunch of the asparagus. And it just leaves you with like a well-rounded bite, making you want more. My mouth's slightly on fire, but in a good way. I'm loving it. So I feel like the spicy mayo and the eel sauce really like complement each other. It makes it so it's not too spicy and just the right amount of sweetness. Um, and then the avocado really gives it like a creamy texture that um, feels almost decadent. So I feel like I'm new to the sushi game. I, it took me a minute to come around to sushi, but I'm there. I'm usually like a spicy tuna orderer, something along the lines that I feel like I'm getting from this. This would definitely be something that I would go for on the menu with the spice level. I feel like it's spicy with good taste, not just spicy to be spicy. So with that being said, I feel like this is definitely up my alley and I would for sure order this again. I can see why this is known as being some of the best sushi around. Now that I got a handle on my chopsticks, I think I'm gonna just try the lobster on top. It was doused in that spicy mayo and I'm really excited for it. Oh yeah, a thick piece of lobster meat, just lightly like tempura fried, doused with that spicy mayo, like I said, just how I like it. That's delicious. All right, you guys, you saw us take on that monster sushi roll. It was delicious and I highly recommend. That's a wrap on Zuku-san. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, at Stuff to Do in Tampa Bay, at UNation app, and comment below where you want to see next. Thanks for tuning in with us. We'll catch you on the next one.